Okay, now one of the next things that I have to do is figure out how to actually mount this to the frame of the motorcycle. Um, I've already tested this out with the upper batteries in here just to make sure everything's all lined up. I've got this centered, I've got it all the way forward. I checked to make sure that I have enough room behind it for the motor. And now what I've done is I've just uh, pinned this rack down with a couple of magnets to keep it from moving while I pull the batteries out. So I'm going to take the batteries out and then we can look to see how we can attach this to the frame of the motorcycle. <clears throat> now as you can see, here's the battery rack. It's sitting on top of the frame. Uh, there's a couple different ways that I could connect this on here. Uh, one, I could somehow clamp it on. Uh, this is just a conduit clamp. Um, essentially that would be able to go around there and and bolt on. This one's actually a little too big. It's not quite the right size, but you get the idea. Um, another thing is that there's some great uh, attachment points already on the motorcycle um, from where the original engine and transmission bolted in, and I'd, I'd like to reuse those. So what I'm going to do is take some shorter pieces of steel, and that's going to run from one of those attachment points and then get welded onto the battery rack. So I'll have one on that side. And then I'll also have one over here that'll run from under the battery rack back to here and it'll get a bolt. So that's going to be just a little bit more welding and drilling. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I got the bottom tray exactly where I wanted it. I checked how far front and back. I got it as uh, close to centered side to side as I could. And now what I've added is two rails that these are just pieces of the one inch angle iron that I've been using. One over here and one back here. And they parallel the side tubes of the motorcycle. Um, and also they're flat, so they meet up real nice on the bottom of the tray here. They're gonna support this front, which originally was kinda semi-floating. Uh, the other thing it does is this area back here, this gives, a, gives us a little more room to mount anything else uh, we're going to need to. We got a nice flat surface we can drill into or weld against. And then right back here and back here, these are uh, holes through the frame where the engine and transmission original, originally mounted to. So this rail here is going to anchor into the frame back here, right back here with a nut and bolt, and then I'm going to weld on there. And then that way, this whole bottom piece will be uh, nice and solid in position. Now, one other thing that I'm going to do here before I uh, do a couple of tack welds is I'm uh, going to double check, make sure my motor is still going to fit in because the motor is going to go right here basically takes the place of where the original transmission was and you can see this tab here is also going to go in over here but it's going to be a little more closer to the middle and this does clear the battery battery tray that was uh that was an important distance i wanted to make sure to get here Okay, so I've got the back has two attachment points, but I'd still like something to hold the front of this down. And we do have some nice attachment points right here. So if I have a pair of bolts through here, that gives me a place to connect something to the battery tray here, but I'm not sure what. What I did is I just made these um, it's, uh, two just short sections. I cut an angle on there to match up with the angle from the front of the bracket up to these bolts. So now I just run the bolts through, tighten them down with a nut, and then I can tack weld those on there. Well, here it is. This is the basics of the battery rack for the motorcycle. Um, I've got four connection points on here, so this whole thing can just bolt and unbolt from the frame. Um, that's going to make it a lot easier when I have to install the motor, do the other work on here. 
the welds, eh, I think some of them could look better. I'm, you know, just a beginner welder. Uh, I'm probably going to take an angle grinder to some of these, grind them down a little bit, make them look a little bit nicer uh, before this gets all painted up. But for now, this can go into the bike.